guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, we are continuing the series of concealers, seven days of concealers that are new to me that I want to rank at the end of this series. So, if you're excited about this as I am, then let's do this. In today's video, actually, to be specific, we're doing the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Hair and Glow Serum Concealer. Bold claims on this concealer. I want to test it out. So, let's just jump right in. Alright guys, welcome back. Today, we are obviously, you could see from the intro, we're going to try out the new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Serum Concealer. And I got it in the shade 120N. And it looks like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through my entire face makeup and then I will put this on with you guys. So be right back. So let's go ahead and swatch. This is what the bottle looks like. Very beautiful. It has the gold top, classic Lancome. And then the Dove Foot is actually very similar to the YSL Dove Foot that they just came out with. And the bottle is actually the same. Consistency is about the same. She's gonna be bright as hell. So yeah, let's just go ahead and put this on our face and let's see. I'm just gonna put my hair behind my face. This feels pretty much the same as the YSL concealer. Look at that, I'm looking kind of scary. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty concealer brush. I'm just gonna go in. Very brightening, holy moly. Wow, this is very luminous, which I mean, it's called the Care and Glow Serum Concealer. Immediately you can tell it's the serum. Natural Skin Glow All Day Hydration. my foundation brush just to even then it blends out like a freaking dream are you kidding Pfft. holy cow i do want to see if we can honestly no i don't i don't want to see i think this is beautiful i was gonna say add more Okay, so I'm gonna read off the claims to you guys. It says it's a natural skin glow, blur, conceal, and highlight. We're blurred, concealed, look at that, and highlighted, oh my goodness, look at that, are you kidding? Radiant natural finish, second skin medium buildable coverage. Yes, I would agree. It is a more of a medium coverage, which I am considering building this up, but honestly, the coverage is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful. Holy cow. I honestly, like, don't want to set it because <laughs> I want it to stay this radiant and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, evens and conceals skin tone. Yes, 100%. Look at this face. I love this concealer. Spoiler alert for the ranking, but so far, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna set it. I know, and finish the rest of my face with powders, and let's see if it actually does stay this beautiful, glowy goodness. I'm hoping that the answer is yes, so be right back. So you know what? Shockingly, look, still has that healthy glow. Are you kidding? Okay, so now I'm curious. I'm gonna do the rest of my face with the powder products, and I'll just speed through this, um, and then we'll come back.
you guys. I just feel so beautiful with this concealer. I think it's amazing. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I love it. If you haven't tried this, I am telling you. The claims, all true. I believe every single one of those claims I read off. Let me look up the price, actually. On Sephora right now, this concealer is $29, and it has 147 reviews. All five stars. I would 100% give us five star rating right now on Sephora. Might actually do that to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how this wears and we're gonna check in in about, it's 10.30 now, so probably around six or seven we'll check in. So that'll be like nine hours of wear, but I am have no doubt we're gonna be as impressed as we are right now. Hopefully I don't get super oily and this turns into like a gross oily disaster kind of thing. You guys, this is freaking amazing. It definitely feels like a serum. Like you just put your skincare on and like that. Oh my goodness. Now I will say this side is definitely um, going in my crease, but you kind of expect that with the serum-y ones. We'll just see how it um, performs for the rest of the day. And yeah, I'll be back checking with you. Okay guys, it is officially six and a half hours later. No, eight and a half hours later. Um, And curls have fallen out, looking a hot mess. But yeah, let's talk about this concealer. So far from first wear test for this, I have to say, it's pretty much gone from under my eyes. It did crease quite a bit, so I had to fix that throughout the day. But overall, it's still really glowy, pretty natural. But yeah, it's gone from my nose. It kind of wears as you would expect. I'm not gonna lie though, it's clinging to my dry patches. Like I have some dryness under my eyes and it has clung to it, so that's slightly disappointing. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's just sitting on top of my skin kind of and clinging to dry patches. I definitely wanna try it out more, but first impression from this morning, I thought this was absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful, amazing. And throughout the day, my thoughts have changed. Now, it has been a long time. I've worn it for a long time. And my skin still looks good. It still looks good under my eyes. Close up, not so much. But for $29, it's not crazy. For This is like twice the size of product that you would get with essentially any other concealer. It's like double the product. So kind of depends on your pros and cons, basically. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.